Okay, Billy back again. I'm just going to show you how I make my beer soap. Um, I start with a bottle of beer, whatever you prefer. Um, this one is 650 mils. And I put this in a small saucepan on very low heat on the stove and I um, simmered it for about 20 minutes and then I put that saucepan in the fridge and it's been in the fridge for four or five days because I've been really sick I haven't been able to progress with this soap um, so after I've simmered it down it's been in the fridge I've poured it in here and it now it's um, 400 grams of beer so quite a large amount has um, evaporated off with the simmering so this is um, cold from the fridge now and anytime you're going to add your lye to anything other than water uh, it's a good idea to do it in a different bowl so that if it does uh, overflow you've got this to catch it I'm just going to add my lye slowly. Sometimes with beer, even when it's been completely flat, um, like I've put my lye in too quick and it did actually bubble over. The beer is a really good um, ingredient in your soap because there's a lot of sugar in there and the sugar really helps with the bubbles. I think beer soaps are one of my favourite. I still make a milk soap with this. Um, I'm just using the 400 grams um, as part of my water portion and the rest will be milk. Okay, so that's all my lye in there. Now I'll just stir that for a minute or so just to make sure everything is completely dissolved. And then I'll put this away to cool down. So I'll bring you back when we're um, ready for the next step. Okay, we're back. It's actually quite a few days later. It's Christmas Eve today. Or tonight. So my beer and lye solution's been sitting here for, I don't know, five days or something. So that's it there. Um, I've already mixed up my oil and I've added my milk. I'm adding to this, um, I've got la French lavender, cedarwood and rosewood and that's been sitting in the kaolin clay. Hopefully help hang on to that scent. So the markets have been a bit crazy and I'm really running behind on keeping my soaps in stock which is why I'm out here on Christmas Eve. I've been cooking all day, ready for tomorrow, because we're just having an open house tomorrow. Anybody can stop by at any time and we'll just have the food out and the kettle on. I'm just gonna blend that through, make sure the kaolin clay is well blended. So 
if you're making a beer soap you just use your regular recipe that you would normally use and use the beer in place of the water righto so I'm ready to add my lye solution and I'll put it through the strainer And I think beer soaps really are one of my favourites. Nice, really creamy, bubbly soap. Because the sugars in the beer really does make there's some extra bubbles. And the lavender and cedarwood essential oil blend that I put in really suits it. It's a really nice blend. So I've made this soap with quite a few different beers. Just today happens to be Heineken. I don't know if I showed you that before, but that's the beer that I'm using. It's gorgeous caramel colour. blender a bit of a clean now I'm going to pour off some just to make you know the froth on top of the beer so the bit that I pour off I'll be adding some titanium dioxide to That should do. Do my mould over. Pour this in. And we'll leave that to set up a little bit while I add my titanium dioxide to lighten the next portion. Normally we go to Wayne's parents for Christmas, but his mum's getting older and there's a few people that we know that don't really have anything on for Christmas. So we just thought that we'd do it at our place this year. And then anyone who hasn't got anything better to do or anywhere else to go is welcome to stop in. It should be a nice day. But this is just some titanium dioxide mixed with water. Just want to lighten the top up. I did was um, with Guinness and I scented that with um, cedar wood and orange which was also a really nice blend I like cedar wood blends in men's soaps and, you know lavender can be quite manly you know you blend it with something like cedar wood or whatever and
Might even let it sit up there for a minute. Okay, so that's set up for a couple of minutes. And I'm just going to carefully pour on top of my spatula. Trying to get it in the mould, not inside of the mould. Gently along the top. edges off a little bit here because I'm so messy. Mommy. Hello Charlotte. Hi. So here's the top. Not much to see here. Have a look tomorrow. Well, tomorrow's Christmas Day, so whether I get around to cutting it tomorrow or not, I'm not sure. But we'll have a look when I do. Thank you. Okay, we are back to cut the Heineken soap. I've just cut the loaf in half, make it more manageable. And there we have the cup. And this is one of my all-time favourite essential oil blends, the lavender, um, cedarwood and rosewood. So I'll just cut another one because, you know, they're all going to be the same. But I'd have to say this particular soap, one of my favourites, beer soap. I love beer soap and my favourite essential oil blend. So I will be keeping one of these. Um, and if you want to buy one, they'll be ready in about four weeks, so towards the end of January. So thank you very much for watching, and I will join you on the next video.